Hey, everybody, and thanks for joining me today. Uh, I want to take a little bit of our time and ask a simple question. Why? You might be wondering why what, and the truth is it's really the question why. Do you know the why of your life? Why do you get up in the morning? Why do you go to the job you go to? Why do you come home in the evening? Why do you eat the food you eat? Why do you do the activities you do? You see, I believe that we ought to be doing everything on purpose. We ought to be doing everything with an intended purpose to it. And we don't, I think there's so much of our life that we live without ever asking, why am I doing this? Why do I, you know, there's an old story uh, that preachers love to tell, and I've heard it and told it several times of, of the lady that she was cooking ham for, uh, for uh, their Easter. She was cooking the Easter ham. And her husband came in the kitchen, and she, he said, why do you cut the ends off the ham before you put it in the, the pan? And she said, you know, my, when my mom taught me to cook ham, that's just how we do it. You put seasoning in here, you cut the ends off, you put it in there. And so she asked her mom, Mom, why do we, why do we cut the ends off the ham? And she said, you know, I don't really, never really thought about it. When your grandmother taught me how to make the ham, that was what she showed me. And so they both went to Grandma and said, Grandma, why, do you, why do we cut the ends off the ham? And Grandma says, well, you know, when uh, my mom showed me, we had a really small oven, and the pan that we had, you always cut the head, had to cut the ends off the ham to get it to fit in the oven. And these ladies, by just, that's what had always happened, they'd learned it that way, and they never stopped to ask why. I think there's a lot of things in our day-to-day -day lives that we do them, and really, if we stopped and somebody said, would you trade that hour of your life for this? Many of us would say, well, no. But then why did we? Uh, we traded that hour that we were sitting on the couch watching Netflix uh, or thumbing through Facebook or whatever. We traded that hour of our life that could have been invested in another place. And so what I want you to do for this week is just ask yourself why. As you go through the day and you reach it, just have the voice of a three-year-old kid that's very inquisitive about everything life and say, why? Why am I doing that? Why would I do that? Why would I, inve why would I invest my time in that? Why would I put my energy in that? And I think you'd find that there's some things that you need to adjust and do, be more intentional with the time that God gives you. So I invite you to ask the question, do you know the why? I hope you do, and I'm going to tell you the why better break down to the bottom foundational core of, because God's called me to, and this glorifies God in what I do. It glorifies God because I show up to work and I work like a person uh, that can be depended on and that keeps their word. Uh, I do these things because I bring honor to God. That is the why of life. Do you know your why? I'm Brother Joe. I appreciate you taking a few minutes to spend with me in our video. And I hope you'll like or share. Maybe comment some of the whys in your life as you look at. There's some things you do that maybe you need to ask the why of. I'd love to have that discussion with you. I hope I get to see you on Sunday.